How's it going guys, RXXC here, and uh, we have something special for you. This is actually a preview, I guess you would say, of Wave 4. Um, somebody, or <laughs> someone, uh, a guy on Twitter uh, messaged me and told me that this, what I'm about to show you, was being sold on Amazon. And uh, it had Amazon and Prime and everything, so I got it in two days. So, uh, I got me a package here, and uh, we're going to bust it open, and you're going to see what it is right now. One. All right, we're back, and the knife's done. I'm gonna hand that over to Matuska, and as you can see, uh, this is the Orless Dragonoid uh, Bakugan Starter Pack. And, um, yeah, so this is Wave 4 stuff, guys. Uh, I don't know why this is out. It seems really early. We haven't seen any other Wave 4 stuff except maybe WebAms that are kind of floating around on accident. Um, but uh, this is one of the three packs. So uh, we got our Orless Dragonoid, which is Everybody, everybody knows is kind of interesting at this moment, and we get a bunch of cores. I don't know what they are, uh, but I think this is a Pyrus Pegatrix and a Darkest Mantanoid core. So uh, we're gonna check this out. Uh, the back's just the same. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, there's a new stadium coming out soon, and it's gonna be red, and then with white borders, with a Pyrus Phaedrus. It's gonna be exclusive to the uh, to the uh, box there. So that'll be interesting. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna bust this open and show you show you guys what we get. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, I was looking at it since this is wave four. I was gonna take take a look at the uh, list, and I think they upgraded it from wave three or updated it. Sorry, um, I say that because Ultra Pegs on here and uh, Ventus Tertoniums on here. What's weird is that we have seen WebAm and Darkus from Bakugan themselves. Ventus Knight did the little video on it, and it was really cool. Uh, but this chart is only saying green WebAm. So I guess that means that that Darkus WebAm isn't coming out to wave 5, which is kind of weird. Um, but I think the way they're doing this list is everything that we have up until now. So we have the Orlis Dragonoid here on the list with the Pyrus one. That used to only say... Uh, Pyrus, but I think it also said diamond too. I don't know. Uh, these lists are kind of weird, guys. But um, anything? Are we are getting a diamond Mantanoid Ultra? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's going to be Ventus. Uh, diamond Pegatrix Ultra, Diamond Garg. We've only seen. We're gonna. We've seen that. A Diamond Cindius Ultra. The diamond is next to the color. It is. What? So, pull it down a little bit. What do you mean? I don't know. No, it just says diamond. It's whatever their like house faction is or whatever, like their main one. That makes sense. Whatever they're on their show. Uh, so a diamond uh, Pyrus Cindius Ultra, which is going to be called cool. a diamond Darkus Nilius Ultra. That'll be, huh? But we don't have not the Nilius Ultra. Yeah. So. Um, no, we have we have. I will tell yeah. you momentarily. <laughs> we have some of the cards, so like, yeah, we do know some of these are coming. Like Diamond Tertonium Core, definitely know is coming. Diamond Cindius Core, definitely know. So from um, Resurgent, Resurgence, we're getting... Huh? Oh. Uh, we're getting Diamond Serpentis, Ultra and Aquas. Diamond Phaedrus and Darkus. Diamond Cubbo. Garytheon and Pegatrix, Ultra and Chaos. Two different packs. Yeah. Diamond Cindius, Diamond Cindius Ultra, and Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. Then Diamond Mantanoid. This one says Core. Diamond Tertonium and Diamond Webam. Yeah, there's a Mantanoid Core. I remember that card. But you said it was Mantanoid Ultra. Well, on the sheet here, it says Ultra. So that's a, uh, I don't know. Discrepancy. Yeah, these things are weird. Uh, there's the artwork for the fold up. Anyway, let's get into the stuff. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's go into Pegatrix. So this is a. Pyrus, Pegatrix Core. Um, he has uh, 300 B power and 4 attack. And um, I'm going to put him off to the side here and we'll take a look at his evolution that's coming up. Um, it's coming with a blue shield and a uh, green fist. So maybe play into your green fist deck with giving you a little bit of uh, B power too. What you got? Uh, Hyper Pegatrix. Four cost, you may re-roll re this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. 810. 810. I mean, that's not awful. It's you not could bad. ask for more B-Power, but he does come with a Magic Shield, so uh, that's interesting. Uh, he came with a flip card, uh, the one cost Block Growth, which is a card from the first set. 
So the new set Bakugan are coming with first set cards. Why? I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's been mastered. It's a thing. Uh, but uh, again, the cores I showed you there. Uh, this pack comes with two 600 uh, magic shields. So uh, might be worth a pickup. I mean, that's the second best one we have so far. Uh, and let's look at Pyrus Peg. Okay. All right, so uh, his Pyrus coloration, of course, looks really cool. His horn's green, so he's very nice looking. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know if y'all know to look at the factory stamps. Now, on the magnet, oh, let's see if my phone will focus. Hold on. Mm. Uh, not really, but these little numbers on the, on the, uh, next to the magnet have these little factory stamps. This one's from WS. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so these are from FWS. I don't know what those are. Maybe Fort Worth or something? I don't know, something like that. Uh, but there's two factories that make them, and people are starting to find out the quality differences between them. Um, so this is from FWS, this pack comes from. So anyway, that's uh, Pyrus Peg. He looks great. We all love Pegatrix. Pegatrix is really awesome. Opens easy FWS, and stuff like that. FWS, I think, is the good one. FWS is the good one? Because the, the, the Pyrus Drago Ultra is FWS. Uh, look at the Pyrus Alpha Ultra. Yeah, the Pyrus. Uh, we have a couple different ones. Uh, while he's looking for that, uh, I will look at Mantanoid, uh, Darkest Mantanoid Core. Um, he is a. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. B BMP is yeah. the one we want. Uh, okay, yeah. So BMP. I don't know. Let me see that real quick. So, pause that part. Uh, so. The plastic quality from this place, what was it, BM what? BMP, it's right, somewhere right here? Right here. Oh, yeah, on his tail there. So this one's BMP, Oop. Um, and that is the other company. So the quality of these just feels better, like they're a s more sturdy plastic, and like this Halcor's heads like spring out more in the back here which the other ones don't and i don't know it, it's hard to explain until you've actually gotten your hands on them and feel the difference between them uh this one this place makes like a little more matte plastic so like you can tell that i don't know maybe you can hope you can tell in the camera that this is more shiny plastic and this is like a more matte matted down paint job anyway um it's just interesting to look at uh and if you can find a way to maybe to pinpoint those or find uh your Bak your favorite bakugan in those plastics they, they they tend to be a little better um that's just observation moving through the uh game as it's think, been coming people, out people were saying that they saw improvements in dragonoids with the whole head tail thing the core dragonoids yeah right yeah so just just food for thought there um anyway let's get back to looking at manoid um i love the art on him he looks really cool it's kind of uh, in like a torn down city and he's just g eyes glowing and everything, looking really nice. Um, but he has a red shield with him and a green fist and he has 200 B power and six attack. And you may reroll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. So one of those good reroll effects and then his evolution, I'll put up here. What does it do? Titan Mantanoid, six cost. You may reroll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. 812. For six? For six. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one either. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, his cores, he comes with the, the Pyrus Darkest 400B uh, shield and then a one attack. I mean, those are interchangeable, whatever. Uh, but a one attack core, so not great. Um, comes with a one cost wither, which is just minus three attack. Um, another meh kind of deal here. Um, but the star of the show, of course, is Dragonoid. Let's look at Dragonoid Ultra. So, uh, we have the Pyrus one. Uh, you've seen on my channel the um, Fancy Dancy one. Uh, this is the golden one. So, a bunch of fancy Dragonoids out here. Uh, but we have a blue shield. That's He comes with one of those 600Bs again. And a red fist. And uh, he's pretty decent. He's 504 for an Orlis. So, um... And then, of course, his evolution, which I'll throw up here, is uh, interesting. Four cost. This counts as all factions. Right. 1,210. Right. So we haven't gotten around to testing this yet to see whether or not it's great. Um, it really depends on, I mean, obviously, if you're playing with your friends, what kind of flip cards y'all are playing. Because uh, he does not get stopped by the free. By the everything. By the everything. But he gets stopped by one. 
Yeah, he gets stopped by the ones. So stop. Yeah, just so like the zero cost ones will stop him. So it's easy to stop him, but you got to put those cards in your deck. And, you know, who knows if everybody's going to be playing this. So what were the B powers and stuff? Uh, four cost, 1,200, B, 10 attack. Yeah, so he's dangerous, um, but is he worth it? I don't know. Oh, we never opened up Mantanoid. <laughs> Here he is. He looks really cool. Um, his eyes are really glowing green, and the paint job on this kind of sucks. Not a... Not the best in the world. Kind of missed his eye a little bit, but whatever. It still looks good. Uh, the purples and everything seem to be in place and looking nice. So it's just his eyes. Um, yeah, so uh, Mantelloid looks great. And, of course, he has the fun little wiggle that you can do with him. Anyway, back to the start of the show. Golden Dragonoid. Uh, this one feels a lot more sturdy than my other one. Um, I don't know about the magnet deal. Of course, y'all all know about that by now. Um, he, uh, <clears throat> sorry I had to cut there. Uh, camera was being weird. Anyway, uh, back into autofocus here. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, oh, the, the magnet, magnet deal. Ultra. Yeah, so um, many of you know that Dragonoid Ultra will flick off his magnets. He can literally throw them. Uh, I saw this on Reddit today. Oh, wait, oh. is it gonna work? Oh. Is this one better? Oh, oh, maybe not. All right, we'll get the other one. <laughs> just, just Bach abuse him. Oh, well, I need, I need the core. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's see. No, 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 give it to me. Oh. oh. Okay, maybe that person on Reddit's was just really bad. Okay, we're trying to <laughs> flick it over here. All right, so somebody definitely did this and it flew <laughs> off. Maybe you gotta. Oh, there you oh, go. There we All go. right, so anyway. Um, get that out of here. That was a worthless presentation. Uh, anyway, um, well, I guess we can roll him up and see, uh, firsthand if he's gonna do the, the thing or not. Um, roll him up just like that. If you don't know how to roll up Dragonoid, check out Bakugan's video. Uh, let's see, get all this out of here. Oh, it comes on flip card, who cares? Um, move these around, and let's test out. I love how he looks in ball form, though, with the silver and the gold. Looking really nice. Anyway, all right. Moment of truth. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me try this way. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Test number one. Okay. Test number two. Oh. oh. We're going to go for a three. <laughs> all right. Man. The Are most, we going to get the, a... The most times in a, in a video that our XXXC has rolled, opened consecutive. All right. Oh, my God. And I think it's fixed. So, that is that Dragonoid made by the same company? No, this is the... Wait. Is that this, FWB? This is FWS. Is that one FWS? That's what I meant. FWS. Um, I don't know. Maybe they fixed it. Um, interesting. You, know? uh, you saw it here first. Uh, maybe try out your gold Drago instead of your Pirates one. Um, I don't know. That's really cool. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. Okay, literally just see. All right, that's kind of dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that kind of annoys me because I want to play this one and not that. Now it's not even picking anything up. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Anyway, um, <laughs> this was a very uh, weird video. Uh, we were just trying to see how this Dragonoid works. But anyway, that's wave four. Uh, a little start for you. Um, so there's WebAms coming out. There's... Oh, I think I rolled them backwards. You did roll them backwards. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you didn't. Did I? No, because Which the arrow's here. here. All right, whatever. We're going to test this on our own a little more. <laughs> um, Wave 4 is coming out. There's WebAms. So there's Big Spider Boys coming. Uh, I think Corsendius should be coming out in this set. He's really cool and chunky. Um, but no, no new models. Oh, Pegatrix Ultra is coming uh, so we can actually play that card because it's do we pretty. Get in the next wave? We don't get Hydronoid in Wave Four. It, uh, maybe uh, it's talked about, and maybe a Trino, the little Triceratops guy. I don't know yet. We don't know. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Stick around. We have some more bot battles coming. Uh, we recorded a bunch of them. I'm trying to work on my editing to get like cameras involved and stuff so that we can have uh, really cool videos for you. Uh, but other than that, stick around, and we will see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.